Hey everybody, welcome to a movie review. I'm Scotty V. So what I got for you, obviously, you can read from the title, Shazam. I just got back from watching Shazam, and let me tell you, it was actually very good. I was very surprised with this movie. I was thinking, you know what, it's supposed to be a funnier movie, not too serious. But you know what, after watching this movie, I really enjoy it. I think it's probably my top three top four maybe dc dceu movie so to speak i think the dceu is kind of considered dead at this point but i would say it's my top top four let's make it reasonable top four dc movies now i'm gonna go down the cast um we got zachary levi he was the perfect perfect cast uh for uh, shazam he was great he was funny um, he was serious when he needed to be, um, but he fits the role perfectly. I loved every minute of him when he was on screen. I just loved it. Um, if you didn't know, Zachary Levi was in Thor, uh, Thor The Dark World, and I believe Thor Ragnarok as one of Thor's uh, friends. So, which I think he was glad that that franchise is over because now he had the opportunity to play Shazam. And boy... He did a great job with Shazam. I'm very happy with his performance. Um, we got Mark Strong as Dr. Savannah, which the movie did open up with him as a child, giving you more backstory on how he became the bad guy and what drove him to become the bad guy, uh, which was great. Um, that We usually don't get that with movies. Uh, I really don't want to compare this to Marvel, but I'm going to have to compare this to Marvel. Just like uh, Loki, they built him up. Well, they built him up before he became the main, main villain in the Avengers. But here we got a quick five-minute scene of him and his father and his brother bickering in the car. And then, I don't want to spoil any more from you. Then that's when things start to shift for him and he gets a desire and becomes the bad guy. Um, we also got uh, Asher Angel as, the, as Billy Batson. Great act, great choice for a 14 year old kid. Uh, what else do we got here? We got um, Jack Dylan Grazer as uh, Freddie Freeman as his best friend. Fantastic job. Um, I'm gonna talk about the action. Uh, the action was extremely good. I'm surprised it it, it fits well within the DC movies. Um, to see it, it, the budget, I believe the budget on this was 100 million. I don't know if that's true or not, but. Boy, the CGI was great. I don't think at one at any point that the CGI was uh, sloppy. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. Um, there were it, the best way I could compare this movie to is like Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok was funny, but also serious when it needed to be. And Shazam was that. It was funny when it needed to be, and when it needed to be serious, it was serious. I loved it. The cast was great. That final battle, uh, we see it in the trailer um, when they're at like the theme park with the Ferris wheel. Um, you'll see uh, that battle sequence is pretty awesome. Uh, you're gonna get uh, it's a fun it's a fun battle. Um, I really I really don't want to spoil it. I want to spoil it so bad, but it's a great movie. Uh, the cast was great. I can't I can't stress this enough. The casting was great. The fighting was great. The humor was spot on, and I gotta. Give credit to the producers and Warner Brothers and all that for filming at our hometown, Toronto. Um, in the movie, in one glimpse when they're on the ceiling, you can see the our CN Tower, the Canadian National Tower, hidden in the corner. I think they were trying to blur it out, but it didn't work too well. You can still noticeable there. So, um, yeah, it's a great movie. Action was great. CGI was great. Humor was great. I don't want to spoil too much of this. Um, it's very lighthearted. Um, they are uh, there are two post credit scenes. Um, the first one you should stay for um, because it builds up to a potential sequel. And um, the the second post credit scene, it was in the trailer. I'm not gonna tell you which trailer, but it was in the trailer. So if you want to stay for that one, you can. But I. I personally won't recommend you to just if you want to go go if you need to use the washroom or anything like that just go um, there is a cameo from uh, another DC hero um, I liked it and at the same time I didn't like it I can't really go into details because I'm gonna be spoiling who the who the cameo is and 
which hero it is. But I liked it. And at the same time, I didn't like it. But um, if you want me to go into a spoilery video, leave a like and leave a comment down below. Um, I'll tell you who it is after or you're eventually going to find out in a couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, the whole the whole the whole thing was great. I just really loved it. And I can't really go into details without spoiling it. So I'm going to keep repeating myself. Story was great. Cast was great. Um, I think Zachary Levi and Mark uh, Strong really worked off to, like they worked really well together when they were in uh, the fighting bat uh, fighting scenes and all that kind of stuff and it was great and the um, the wizard too was great um, it was a little creepy at first when I first saw him it was kind of really creepy and I didn't think in the trailers we didn't see his face I don't think but um, when you see the movie you'll um, you'll know which movie he was in a couple of years ago so uh, yeah Overall, if I were to score this movie, uh, I give this movie a solid 8.9 out of 10. There was a few things that didn't work. Um, pacing issues kind of threw off the movie in some point. Uh, some at some points of the movie, like it got really serious, and then all of a sudden, that serious that serious element of the movie just disappeared and went to comedy, and it worked. Like the just the pacing of the movie didn't work, and there were some scenes when you go watch it, you'll understand what I'm talking about, where the the comedy and the the, the serious parts didn't really mix too well. That's why it's not a it's not a nine for me. Um, the secondary there's secondary villains in this movie which I kind of were, eh. Uh, they were scary I, when I first saw them on the screen. They were really scary. Uh, but as the movies went on, the movie went on. It just kind of kind of got boring those secondary villains and yeah that's about it so i give it a solid 8.9 out of 10 i really enjoyed this movie i can't wait for you guys to go watch it um so yeah that's it um my spider-man into the spider-verse 4k or spider-man digital giveaway is still going on i haven't picked a winner yet so leave a like and leave a comment down below any dc related video or spider-man doesn't really matter um, I will announce the winner during my Aquaman unboxing, which I should be getting Tuesday, I believe. If not, whenever that video or whenever that movie comes out, I will announce the winner on that video and also do another giveaway for that digital copy. All right, guys. See you soon. Be good and shazam.